Let me turn on the light, actually. Oh my god! <laughs> So tonight I'm here to give you a nice cultural understanding, mutual cultural exchange, whatever, lesson. So there was something interesting that happened to me recently. The building manager of my dorm, uh, I was going to pay my rent for the first month and the manager was like, oh, it's getting colder, please take care of yourself. Do you have a futon? And I know in America, futons are kind of like this mix between a couch and a bed, like it starts out as a couch and then you could just pull it out into a bed, a really uncomfortable one too in the middle of your living room. Um, so I thought in my mind when I came here, oh, it's something like a mattress, like a, a futon is a Japanese mattress. Futon wa nihon no mattress. Demo, but I, I didn't know <laughs> that that's not what it really meant in Japan. So for those of you who don't know, a futon and a futon are different. <laughs> futon may have come from Japanese futon, but they're, they're so different. Anyways, I told her, oh, I don't need a futon. I, I'm fine. I have a mattress, you know. The, the building came with a mattress. Thank God. And she said, no, no, no. You're, without a futon, you're going to get really cold at night. And I said, huh? I told her, oh, I have a blanket, like a blanket is all I need to sleep, and, and she insists, and she says, no, you really need a futon, and I said, futon, futon, are we thinking the same thing? So she eventually took me into like a supply closet with an actual Japanese futon, she said, oh, this is futon, and I was like, what, what, no, that's a blanket, like, that's what we call a blanket in America, I have a blanket, this is, this apparently is what they call futon. It's just a kind of a bigger, kind of heavier blanket. Kind of heavy duty-ish. But the point is, is that I have futon already and I didn't even know it. I just called it okimofu, a big blanket, you know. And she said, ah, I see. So there was a communication mix-up that, you know, happened between us. And that day I learned that Japanese futon is actually big blanket not Japanese mattress. I, th I thought for some reason it meant Japanese mattress or whatever. And apparently to the Japanese, a molfu, a, a blanket, is much thinner and much thinner. Thinner? <laughs> so a little cultural video today for you guys. I hope you can learn from my failures. This is what would be called, at least I, th I think this is what would be called a shpaidang, shpaidang, or failure story. It was a little failure, but, you know, eventually communication was made, understanding was brought forth, all was well with the world, and I won't freeze at night. Thank you, building manager Sama. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my story, I'm signing off now. Again, as always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, concerns, or whatever, just leave them down below in the comments on this video, or tweet me. Send me a tweet. Whatever. Alright guys, signing off. Peace.